Hello, everyone. Good day. We're going to wait a few more minutes to allow folks to join us shortly. Hi, folks. Good morning. Good morning. Amy, do we have folks to get started? At 23, which is pretty much our usual number to be able to get started. So, okay. Whenever you're ready. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you all for coming today. It's uh, May 2nd. This is a TOC public meeting. A uh, reminder about our antitrust policy notice and the logistics. Um, we have several TOC members today. Uh, they'll be on the call. And Let's go ahead and move on to the agenda. So we're going to be starting this one off very differently than we usually do. We do have an in memoriam um, that will be uh, led by tag contributor strategy. And let's go ahead and just move forward with that. Hey yeah. everyone. Um, uh, some of you will have already heard that we lost Carolyn Van Slyke over the weekend. Um, the um, she was in a car accident, um, and uh, we got word from her family yesterday. Um, uh, Carolyn was the tech lead for Tag Contributor Strategy um, for the past, I don't know, two, three years. Um, she joined Tag Contributor Strategy soon after we created this, um, which was characteristic of her as a contributor to many projects. Um, I first met her through the Go uh, community um, where she went out of her way to be welcoming to new Go programmers, um, which was uh, that Carol and I knew for the next, you know, six years um, of just really working very hard on making um, open source welcoming to newcomers um, and to everyone. Um, she was a terrific contributor and a collaborator and all around fun person and we're really gonna miss her. Um, Thursday's normal uh, tag contributor strategy meeting is going to um, be mostly a remembrance of Carolyn instead. And there's also a link to be able to provide any of your recollections of Carolyn. And we welcome being able to take those contributions. So thank you all. Last piece in here. Um, there, we are working on being able to put together a memorial around KubeCon, Cloud NativeCon, North America, um, planning to come. Again, this is all pretty sudden for all of us. and. Uh, we want to be able to make sure that we're doing all of the right things. So let us know if you'd like to be involved. And thank you, Josh. Thank you so much, Josh. Okay, um, let's move forward. We now come back to our regular business as well, because we do want to be able to acknowledge all this and also be able to celebrate the work that we've just done at KubeCon as well. So. 
Um, folks from Tag Storage on the call today? Uh, yeah. Yes. Hello, come on. Uh, hi, Sushin. Uh, yeah. Um, well, yeah, it's kind of hard to change the subject. Uh, sorry about that. There's a big loss for the community. Um, hope she, uh, Caroline, rest in peace. So uh, switching subject to uh, give an update about uh, tax storage. So at uh, KubeCon, we had a panel with some members from the uh, data on Kubernetes community talking about Kubernetes database operators landscape. And that room was packed. We were so thrilled to see so many people who are interested in this topic. We have a draft by paper that we are collaborating with the DOK on the database patterns. Uh, the draft is out for review. I included a link here. Please help review it. And we also had a, a good tag story session at KubeCon. There were some great questions from the audience. We also got some ideas for some future projects that we could work on at the tag. And after KubeCon, we had a X-Line project who presented at the tech meeting. X-Line is a geo-distributed key value store for metadata management. It's compatible with uh, ETCD, but it uses a different uh, protocol called uh, SERP. Supposedly it has a better performance in geo-distributed uh, environment. The project is still very new, uh, but it's an uh, interesting technology. They have applied for a sandbox project. We also have a, a future topic about the storage and uh, sustainability. We're going to invite uh, Hua Ming Chen to talk about that in our future tech meetings. And we're also uh, preparing to nominate a new tech storage co-chair. This will be a replacement for Quinton who has not been active for a while. We will bring up the nomination in the next TOC meeting. That's all for tech storage. Thank you so much. Anyone have any questions for tag storage? Okay. Thank you again. Next up is security so, tag. Security tag has notes that they've updated in here, but I'm not sure if they're on the call. Doesn't look like it. I'm happy to be able to come back. We'll come back to this one. Yeah. Okay. Tag runtime. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Hiba and I will uh, represent tag runtime uh, today. So um, um, for the tag runtime presentations and communicate, uh, com communities, uh, Kayla proposed for graduation in progress, as well as the initial DD uh, review for Kermada. Also, uh, we have uh, the OT and Kepler projects uh, that present in tag runtime. Um, and we already have a very uh, busy schedule for the upcoming meetings. Uh, many projects have uh, already been uh, signed up uh, to present. Uh, for example, the Cube Marine and Evator. Um, and in addition uh, to these two projects, uh, there's a couple of other projects we already reached out and uh, we are finalizing the, the exact time that they will come to present to uh, Tech Runtime. Uh, for the activities, KubeCon uh, EU uh, was a successful time. Um, uh, thanks to Ricardo and Nikita, uh, it was a very uh, good uh, event, uh, especially the in-person meeting. They had uh, over 25 people, people from Knative, Kata uh, Container, Kamada, Armada, uh, other, other projects and other uh, uh, companies showed up. And um, they have a really good conversation, which, uh, um, couple of, um, of projects like KServe and uh, Potter Rocket. The KServe, um, uh, they would like to start an ML ops working group and uh, we are discussing this with them and uh, um, see how, how it goes. Also the Potter Rocket project, they would like to start an uh, OS working group. 
And uh, this uh, came out of interest after uh, the in-person meeting. Also, it was a good time uh, for Ricardo to uh, to meet uh, to meet up and network with many folks during the KubeCon in all different working groups. Uh, and the uh, next next thing that finally uh, we had our uh, website, uh, the Tag Runtime website in CNCF up and running, and we are updating it, making it uh, better. But uh, we have all the information related to Tag Runtime uh, already now in the website. And uh, finally, uh, the WASM working group, it's in progress. We had an issue that uh, trying to collect uh, the interest of uh, other uh, folks if they are interested in you know, like, uh, joining this working group. And we found lots of interest. And uh, now we are uh, preparing for a charter draft, uh, a charter for this working group. Uh, we have a lot of nomination from different companies and from different teams and even individuals uh, are interested in, uh, you know, like being a co-chair and tech lead and members, which uh, uh, we find it uh, very uh, promising. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thanks so much. Anyone have any questions for Tag Runtime? Um, Emily, I had a question. Uh, Hiba, thank you uh, for the update. I was super interested in the ML Ops uh, group because you know there is a whole uh, area of discipline under observability, which is also looking at ML Ops. So again, um, I'll ping you offline to perhaps get more details. Maybe we can collaborate um, on this <laughs> group together. Thanks. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Any other questions? All right, next up, tag observability. All right, hi everyone, good morning. Um, just wanted to give a quick update. I think we're all uh, fresh from back from KubeCon EU. So um, just wanted to give a quick update on a couple of uh, moving areas where we are working with the TOC or interacting with the TOC closely. One is the a uh, request for the query standard work group. We have already filed a request. Um, Chris Larson, I think, is also on the call here. Um, we have requested a work group be created for a common query language uh, specification. Um, yeah. And uh, folks have been commenting on the issue. So um, I was wondering what the next steps are from the TOC um, and seek guidance on the timeline. Um, what are the next steps in an approval process so that we can go ahead and set up a work group? There's a lot of interest from the end user community in uh, more defining at least um, and having the research done for what it would take to define a common query language spec. Um, and that's the focus and the objective of the uh, work group is clearly defined in the issue. So seeking guidance for that. Um, Emily, did you? Um, yep. Uh, so I was actually uh, just going to respond. Uh, the your So your TOC liaisons are the ones that will give you the approval for doing that. So okay. Um, okay. make sure that you meet with them. Once they have the approval, you should be good to move forward. Awesome. Awesome. Will do. Thank Thanks. Um, then the other area that's uh, in progress, and uh, as many of you know, Pixie, which is a observability tool, an open source observability project under the CNCF, um, which uses eBPF for collecting Kubernetes uh, telemetry, is uh, awaiting a TOC sponsor for incubation uh, process to start. And I uh, just wanted to bring that up uh, again. Did it, I understand there's a delay, but um, would like to kind of also understand what the timeline for that is. Um, moving on. And I'm assuming that this will be something that um, the TOC will respond to on the issue itself, on the request itself. Um, any comments on that, um, TOC members? Uh, so we do have a backlog of projects waiting on sponsors for moving levels right yeah. now um, at the end of today's session there's a slide where we're providing updates on where some of these things are at so we're aware of the long backlog and we are working 
diligently to try to clear some of that out so that we can have new new projects with sponsors coming in. So I'm we're working on it. We're aware that there is a backlog. Apologies for the delay. No, thanks, thanks, Emily. Uh, thank you for the update. Um, meeting uh, meetings again. I think we only had one meeting in April, um, and we had a. a you know, updated and reported to the TOC earlier in uh, the previous meeting in April uh, on the query language work group charter. That discussion has continued. There's a lot of good feedback that has come in from the larger community, a lot of interest around this, uh, and that also dovetails very well into the um, maintainer track session we had at KubeCon EU, where uh, there was a lot of interest also from the larger EU community to uh, participate as well as get involved. So looking forward to uh, the work group um, being reviewed and getting set up uh, so that we can leverage some of that uh, pent up energy to get get for folks to get involved, uh, both end users from and, and vendors uh, who are working on uh, various observability projects within the CNCF. Um, we also did uh, had a lot a full house on uh, all the tracks that we presented in April 18th for the observability day that was in addition to KubeCon EU this time. Uh, very well attended, lots of discussion around uh, what the tag does as well as some of the initiatives that uh, you know we uh, cross collaborate with the projects, open source uh, observability projects on. Uh, working closely on some of the initiatives uh, that could be addressed in the work group rather than on the projects themselves. Uh, again, deferring to the projects on implementation. Um, there were also uh, several observability project meetings where uh, TAG members did participate, as well as the TAG TOC chair meeting, which uh, uh, again uh, was also on April 18th. Uh, another interesting area, which was uh, a project, you know, area of um, discussion at uh, KubeCon EU, and uh, this is especially um, very much a topic ongoing in the observability space, is again uh, the the development of a baseline set of metrics for project health tracking more actively, which you know the um obviously the tag as well as the projects can use um as well as you know can be leveraged by the tsc so i uh, just wanted to call that out but um again all in all uh great to see everybody in person at keep calling you thanks does anyone have any questions for tag observability uh, hello i'll eat a um, question about the project health um is that uh, yeah, could you say a little bit more about the the metrics that might be tracked there? N not necessarily the specific ones, but just the genre. Is is this about the community around the project and and how you know the trajectory of the projects, how healthy they are, and how quickly they're moving, or is this more about the technology within each project and how observable each project or um, how observable that technology is, how observable the not the project as a community, but the project right, as right. yeah. Uh, actually, it is it is about the community of the project, and and you know specifically, um, there have been several cases, as you know, in the observability space where you know the projects have either lost momentum or are on the uh, verge of you know uh, uh, having a fewer number of maintainers and participants. So. Um, Again, moving towards you know better understanding of the metrics that actually can be looked at from a diversity standpoint of maintainership, as well as encouraging new uh, maintainers to uh, new contributors to graduate to becoming maintainers are uh, have been uh, discussed. So, uh, Don, thanks uh, for the guidance. I would definitely follow up with you and would love to share that uh, with. The different project um, projects under the observability space, but uh, we look forward to working together. Actually, if there's an opportunity to work with the contributor strategy uh, team, um, again, that would be an awesome uh, collaboration. 
Actually, that, that was my next question is, Alalita, um, where these discussions are occurring on project health and what some of those metrics look like, where can community members and project maintainers or even TOC members that are interested in contributing to that discussion um, participate? Um, <clears throat> good question, Emily. Uh, so far, these uh, discussions have happened uh, partly in hallway conversations and uh, also somewhat in the tag meetings. But what we will do is I'll create a proposal on under the tag observability uh, repo on the repo, and then um, again just uh, share that so that you know the discussions actually and key items um, have been can be captured right and key suggestions. But uh, as Amy said, it's definitely been organic. <laughs> All right. Well, let, let's um, let's create that issue. That way, folks that are interested in it have a place to go to and provide those comments, or at least determine whether or not um, it's worthwhile to put together a working group to focus on this, because this has been a hot topic as of late across multiple <laughs> yes. projects and tags and TOC members and just general community members. So we appreciate you taking that on. That's any good. any other questions for tag observability? Okay. Next up is Tag Network. All right. Good morning. We um, we didn't have representation at KubeCon EU, uh, although we've been very consistent um, having representation in each of the KubeCons prior. Um, so so not a lot to report from KubeCon EU. Uh, we do we are tracking um, Istio as uh, a project that's applying for graduation. Um, we've had a few projects as potential future presentations for a while, and and I don't, and uh, so there's just kind of a question mark as to what some of these might be, which is also to say that we we don't have project presentations lined up at the moment, or we're we're at a queue of zero. So, um, yeah, whatever that means, or we you know we should we we, we might want to be proactive there. By we, I guess I'm, yeah, anybody that wants to help, please do. Um, I'm also pointing the finger back towards myself. Um, but yeah, we'd love to get some more presentations. We should, we should, we're going to go reach out. Some of the working groups have been um, active since we last spoke. Um, in the past, we've given updates on, well, the uh, initiatives around service mesh performance. There's a, um, a dashboard for service mesh performance that, is essentially a phase one complete or is is up and ready for people to digest generally. Um, and But it's also soliciting input from any interested parties that would like to see different types of tests run in either different scenarios or under different loads or using different workloads, different configurations. So there's, so there's some stats that are published on the dashboard that you, that's linked there. Um, and feedback is most solicited. Um, one of the other initiatives that's been going on is, well, an effort around a cloud native playground um, to allow people to visually explore actually each of the CNCF projects that have custom resources. Um, so for projects that have operators or custom resource definitions, there's a playground that lets users um, go through and explore each of the projects. And so I think Aloida, there was something of an initiative, I think, uh, or for demoing, is it um, Otel? Yes, yes. Um, uh, there is a playground on Otel uh, that also exists to demonstrate the capabilities and a feature set uh, in Otel. Uh, very similar to what this um, playground is uh, but definitely would love to take a look at this. There's also the landscape graph uh, project that you know we've been uh, kind of working on on the side uh, in the tag uh, observability itself. And um, again, uh, I think it's worth looking at <laughs> this this initiative. Yeah. yeah, that's super exciting. The they're both of those are is I don't mean to have a separate conversation, but the, is there a did you recall the the URL to the to the uh, hotel demo? Yes, I can share it. Just let me oh, okay. let me just pull it All and right. share it. Sure. Perfect. Perfect. Um, other items. Uh, well, part of 
so some of the learnings of, from the working groups here, they've been, these working groups have been using the CNCF labs, so using a few um, uh, servers inside of uh, Equinix. And, you know, on occasion, this, this, uh, so this is sort of a, a question out loud um, as to whether or not there's an existing published resource uh, for network centric security best practices around exposure of cube API and or kubelets to the internet, which is probably just a no-no unto its own, that statement, but um, but it seems also like an opportunity to, to potentially um, uh, publish something or for the tag network to, to assist in some guidelines around that and maybe uplift works that the security working group has already done or, or existing guidance, but, but there's been particular pain that these working groups have experienced around um, port scanning and um, just network centric security of um, cube API. Did, does anyone anyone know if we have existing um, guidance out there from the CNCF perspective? I don't know that it's been collated in quite that way, but there's a ton of guidance out there for not doing it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just yeah, just don't don't start the question. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fair enough. That that's maybe something to double click into for tag network. Uh, that makes sense. I'm sure that we. I'm sure that the tag security probably also has, like you know, that might be a good place to collate some of the content because that's I think where a lot of it sits at the moment. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll dig into. We'll, we'll make a connection, but that's uh that's the update. Thank you so much. Uh, anyone have any questions for TAG Network? Okay. Um, so Lee, definitely dig in with uh, TAG security and collating a lot of that together so it's one more accessible and, and more prominent for individuals. Um, the other thing that I would like to suggest is there are several networking projects that are currently sitting in sandbox and incubation. Would recommend reaching back out to them, having them come in and do a presentation, maybe do a quick status update on where they're at, how they're progressing, and seeing if there's some opportunities um, for collaboration between between those projects, um, if you just go to the, CN, the landscape.cncf.io, um, there, there's several of them that are listed there. That's a great suggestion. Awesome. Thanks so much. All right. Next up is TAG Environmental Sustainability. Um, hello. So we have published a little bit silent, silently the first version of the landscape document, which you can see. Um, there's like a diagram below. Um, so this is like a 0 0.1 version. So we know there's like a lot of uh, blank spaces and we need more time and more contributors and more expertise from other folks to like get this to like a stable version, so to say. Um, but this has been a very great um, discussion point at KubeCon with the contributors. And also now it's a little bit easier to contribute. So we have like a structure, you can add new uh, sections to it. Um, so I think this is great. Um, we had at KubeCon a maintainer talk, um, which went uh, great, I think. And we also had a project meeting, which was awesome. Um, a lot of interesting discussions um, for hours. Um, Without any problems, uh, we we could have probably talked for another four hours. Um, so this was um, great. Um, because we have a lot of new folks showing up, um, we have organized for next week, 10th of May, a getting started meeting. So a special, special meeting where we just um, talk about how to get started and um, answer maybe some questions. This is also for us um, a session to improve the onboarding process because there's been quite some discuss discussions around this and I think we can um, improve on that so it would be interesting during that meeting to observe our also ourselves um, how we can respond to that and how we can help out and also again then um, detect some blank spots in in this case on our onboarding process um, we had I think this is like more or less now a month ago, um, but I think this was also our last meeting, um, a project 
demonstration from Kepler, which was very interesting. I think a, a couple of tags have now um, um, a demonstration or a, a demo by, from the Kepler project. So I think this is uh, very exciting. We have another one um, about a similar tool, a Scaphandra, um, tomorrow. Uh, so the the creator of this tool is presenting us for 20 minutes or something the tool which is very interesting it's also a tool to collect energy metrics but um this time uh, from bare metal and also qnet so it's related but a little bit different so pretty cool um next week a couple of the folks at the tag are organizing a meetup i think this is uh, very awesome especially because none of the co-chairs or tech leads are organizing the meetup somebody from the members are, is organizing the meetup so i think this is pretty exciting and um, we have also started the discussion more or less internally about how we can now move um, into pushing more contributors who are very active and 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 great into more leadership positions so that we have project leads um, I think we have quite a solid, more or less solid foundation um, where we know our governance. We have uh, like um, a team more or less, and now we can uh, push more for leadership and we are in the process of of getting into this topic. Yeah. And also one thing I, which is missing on this um, uh, on this slide, but I added it on, on, on the other ones, um, is that we started also at KubeCon um, and also a little bit before brainstorming about a sustainability week. So we have all those community groups in the CNCF. And I, I asked a few um, uh, organizers from the community group if they're interested in organizing uh, at their chapter um, a, like some sustainability related um, event so we have like a week of sustainability and we i think this could be very interesting to um get this like first of all we don't need to organize an entire conference so we can leverage the organization from from these community groups uh, and um it would be interesting to just identify where where we at uh, in terms of environment sustainability because this this is like a new topic more or less for all of us or for the industry so um getting to know where our companies at and and so on is i think very very interesting and and we need that yeah all right thank you so much anyone have any questions for tag environmental sustainability Um, Leo, a quick question on the global CNCF community group sustainability week that you just mentioned, is there an issue open for individuals that are interested in learning more, understanding the scope and the intent, or maybe some of the outcomes associated with it? So there's, a, there's no issue right now. This is, um, currently a discussion in Slack. So we had, um, I think two, two threads in Slack and also I reached out. Mm -hmm. So there's like a, for the organizers a group um, in Slack. So I reached out over that just to, first of all, get like feedback if this is like something we can pursue. And there was also an open spaces session at KubeCon um, with a few folks showing up and giving input into this. And I think this uh, is a great uh, okay. uh, hint. I, I should open up an issue. Yeah. <laughs> um in the interim while that issue is being filed for folks that are interested jump over to the tag environment and sustainability slack channel for those discussions thanks uh next up uh amy is going to cover tag contributor strategy for us yeah tag and script strategy had a wonderful kubecon um including a keynote by don foster um a great maintainer circle and really kind of like a lot of people being interested in like participating with the tag. Um, they had a great booth um, in Project Pavilion and lots of people kind of running in and out of there. And they're looking forward to being able to do a uh, new maintainer circle on May 29th. Um, so it'll be online and kind of focusing on participating in structured mentoring programs. Um, the contributor growth group is actually going to be meeting um, next week at Open Source Summit North America. Um, we're working on being able to find out details. So watch the tag contributor strategy channels for that as that happens. Um, mentoring working group is also kicking off into season the docs and the governance group is also still getting docs for the last governance template around creating a steering committee so 
we're, we're delighted to be able to see the good work they've done and they'll be back in, in a couple of weeks so if you'd like to be able to join for thursday we'll be sharing our memories with carolyn thanks so much amy thank you uh next up tag app delivery Anyone from app delivery on the call today? Okay. Um, let's see here. We yep. can move on to projects. The right projects. Uh, so let's see who from the TUC members are on the call. Let's see. Um, I know Dave is currently working on Artifact Hub. Aaron, do you have an update on Strimzy for us? I don't, unfortunately. Hopefully for the next meeting I will. All right. Thank you so much. Um, Cubeflow. Yeah, I can give an update. There's, we now have been having weekly meetings, and the end user interviews are moving as well as the data. So there's been quite a lot of progress in the last uh, couple of weeks. Awesome. Thanks, Ricardo. Uh, flat card, Duffy, Nikita, Katie. Nikita and I met with <coughs> the flat card team at KubeCon. We um, had a pretty good conversation with them. I think the next part is going to be like end user interviews. I need to schedule one with um, uh, somebody at Adobe, but I wanted to understand like, do we have a framework for end user interviews already in place? We, like that. we have some started. They're still draft, but I can definitely share that with you. That'd be great. Okay. Uh, projects applying for graduation. Uh, Justin, we're going to talk about GRPC at the next closed TOC meeting. Do you yep. have any additional updates beyond that at this time? Not at this time, no. Okay. Um, I know Kathy is out, as is Nikita. So we'll skip over Cryo and Kita. Um, Cilium is currently undergoing a license review. We're waiting on that to be finalized and then we can open it up for public comment. Um, Falco, we're working with the project on defining some focus areas. We had a good conversation with the project at KubeCon where they raised some concerns. Um, so we're working closely with them on getting them on track for graduation. Um, and Istio, uh, Nikita and I have a meeting next week to go over our initial set of um, comments and reviews for that project. Um, I know that Richie is unable to make the call and it's currently not on here, um, but Richie is also going to be looking at open EBS and getting that kind of refreshed um, moving forward. Does anyone have any additional questions? All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for coming today. As a quick reminder, um, I would like to invite you all to the Tag Contributor Strategy Meeting on Thursday to remember Carolyn. Um, she was an incredible force of good for the community. And even if you did not have the pleasure of interacting with her or meeting her, you will feel her impact at any point throughout your cloud native journey. So if you have the, the time and the capacity to attend and listen or share, we would welcome that. Thank you all so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, Emily. Take care. Bye. Good to see all of you. Bye, all.